The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Islamic Republic of Iran are both Muslim states. Both of these states maintain that Islam should guide social and political life. So logically, they would prefer teaching a theory of creation over, say, the theory of evolution, right? But do they? Do Islamic-oriented states prefer teaching creationism, or do they end up teaching evolution? And why? Creationism says that God created the heavens and the earth out of free will and out of nothing. Now that might be a problem if you consider the theory of evolution. The central thesis of evolution is that species are not fixed. Life slowly changes over time, and exactly that explains the variety and complexity of life. You get the point. Evolution discusses the development of species without a reference to God's creative hand. It seems to clash with literal readings of Christian and Islamic scriptures. So how do these two states deal with this apparent inconvenience? The ministries of education in Iran and Saudi Arabia are both highly centralized. And school textbooks are therefore a way to explore what a state teaches the people they govern. Saudi Arabia is a oil-rich Sunni monarchy situated in the Arabian Peninsula with a population of about 30 million. Its education policy document claims that there is a perfect harmony between science and Islam. So what exactly do they teach children? The Saudis insist that the Quran is sufficient to explain the development and origins of life. We're not talking about verses with a scientific nuance, we're talking about verses understood literally. It's only in 12th grade when the Saudis attempt to tackle the problem of evolution and its main proponent, Charles Darwin. The Saudis call Darwin an Englishman who denies God's creation of humanity. It even argues that Western academia have reached the logical conclusion that evolution is actually a forgery. It accuses people who support the idea of evolution of spreading blasphemy. But just absorb what you've heard for a minute. These aren't exactly Islamic critiques of evolution. We've heard almost identical claims being made by the evangelical community in the United States for decades. So what about Iran? It's an Islamic Republic situated in West Asia with a population of about 80 million, mostly Shiite Muslim. In fifth grade, students are taught that geologists via studies of fossils have reached the conclusion that life began at sea. Iranian school books explain that differences among species is a process that takes place over millions of years. It discusses dinosaurs and their extinction 65 million years ago and the diversification of mammals. Eighth grade is the final compulsory year for Iranian students, and during that year they're shown geological diagrams. The final year also offers an overview of the fossil record, including captivating images of the Archaeopteryx. There's an in-depth discussion of simple and complex organisms outlining their morphological changes in evolutionary lineage, and they're taught about mutations and natural selection. So what about Charles Darwin? Well, the Iranian side offers a very detailed account of his life, his journeys, his findings, and the context of his ideas. But wait a minute, it's not as if the Iranians are denying creation. It's that God's creative hand is actually an invisible one. What I'm trying to tell you here is that Islamic countries are not necessarily concerned with teaching conventional creationism. And differences within Islam do matter. Shiite Islam in Iran is much more flexible in interpreting Quranic verses than its Sunni Wahhabi counterpart in Saudi Arabia. But in the case of Iran, there's also the importance of national development and the creation of an indigenous scientific community. As a late industrializer, Iran is trying to make up for lost times. And this could be a glimpse of how. See you next time.